Good morning everybody, this is Denise at Foodie Paradise Island and welcome to day 23 on my raw vegan journey. So this morning I'm making something a little different than what I normally have for breakfast because I have so many bananas ripening and so many apple salsa that I have to take care of. And it's chilly outside so I'm going to make something delicious and comforting. It is a version of raw vegan oatmeal. So there are three simple ingredients that I put in mine. You can add whatever you want. I'm just using bananas, apples, and cinnamon. So I made a batch before. That's why my food processor is already used. You just put as many as you want. I put an equal quantity of bananas and apples. These are apples that were picked not far from my house. So they're organic, so not perfectly beautiful, but perfectly healthy. So one, one, and I'll go all the way up to five bananas and five apples. I'm making a few recipes for the whole family. And then I'll go process that. You wanna process it on poles, okay? So that it stays chunky, depending on how you like your oatmeal texture. I like it with a little bit of lumps so i'll go through all that don't forget to add the cinnamon i just have a simple ground cinnamon here and i'll see you in a few minutes okay so with a large quantity of fruit like i put it goes better when you push on a high at the beginning to process after you mix it a bit and then you pulse it gives it a head start so here is the result like i said it looks like oatmeal and tastes wonderful. So this is what we're having for breakfast this morning. I'll see you later. So Bye. it's lunch time and I'm very happy with myself because I whipped up a delicious pumpkin soup. A big plate of it besides. Okay, so there is the, in the plate, there's the other half of this pumpkin. So it gave five cups chopped up in the Vitamix, peeled and chopped up. Then I put two tomatoes, they were about this size, maybe a little bit bigger. Two celery sticks, two to three green onions, one teaspoon of crushed garlic. Fresh garlic would have been just as well, good, even better. Five leaves of lemon basil, you can just use regular basil. Cayenne pepper, and I put a lot, I'm not used to using cayenne pepper and it's very spicy, but it will be good, warm me up one third cup of dried raisins and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar blended all that up and it turned out just perfect then i added my sprouts i don't know if you can see but i have beautiful pink radish sprouts you can't really see anyway there's pink in there it's pink china radish sprouts they're beautiful then i have alfalfa and fenugreek I just threw on some green onions and a few carrots. Mm. It is ooh, hot, but so good. Mm. So I'll be making this a few times this fall because I have a lot of pumpkins there and a lot on the floor also. I'm gonna get that basket full. So, good appetite. Mm. Make this. It's very cheap and very delicious, very nutritious, very satisfying, and it makes me very happy. Mm. So, it's almost four o'clock, and I'm having a light smoothies for this afternoon. Well, light. It's still four frozen bananas with lots of greens and lots of water. Um, we're going to my mom's again for dinner, so I'll bring for myself my leftover pumpkin soup that's now almost a pumpkin pie. It got really thick and the water separated a bit, so I can just call it a pumpkin pie now. Then I'm bringing a beautiful green salad with sprouts and onions. Okay, I'll put a um, low fat or no fat dressing on that maybe just lemon juice or maybe 
the marinating juice of these carrots that I made. They're unbelievable. I got them on Lissa's Raw Food Romance Instagram. Okay, her recipe is delicious. So you take Nancy's carrots and you marinate them. So in the juice to marinate them, it is the juice of two lemons. I took one lemon, one lime, because the limes are cheaper than the lemons around here. Three quarters cups of water, six Mitchell dates, a garlic clove, one te teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, some fresh dill, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. So this is unbelievable. They're supposed to marinate for 24 hours. I made them this morning, but still we'll eat them. Probably not all, so I'll be able to see the difference of when they marinate longer, because if I have some left tomorrow. So this is beautiful. I want to thank Alyssa for this delicious recipe and can't wait to taste it. Actually, I won't wait. Mm. Excellent. So I'll take some of this maybe to put on my salad. And for dessert, since I haven't had them for a few days and they're made to share, I didn't, never brought any to my family, are my delicious banana date raisin cinnamon rolls this recipe is from ravana on her channel on youtube delicious so i had a wonderful day today ate all raw feeling great and i'll see you tomorrow give me thumbs up leave me comments and thanks for supporting me bye